Okay, welcome back to the next episode. I am starting the recording here. Hey, welcome back to the next episode. Welcome back to the Guild Hall Podcast, everybody. Where a SWAT actual play team RPG podcast. Seven. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, we can do it. Okay, so Jonas is unconscious on the ground. Joshua, you just threw the flashbang. Yeah. You're up. And I... Oh, Jonas is... No, uh, okay, yeah, I'm up. Okay, since I don't have any heal skill, I don't think I can do anything about Joshua. I can't call in... Uh, Jonas. Yo, Joshua. Yeah, jo- Jonas. I can't call in... Uh, I can, however, call in a... Uh, in a... Uh, Airstrike? Airstrike? No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, can't call, I can't call in, in a... Uh, we both want now, the same so. thing. Just uh-huh. tell everything. <laughs> Make this end. An officer down, and I guess I scream for the, the remaining two guys to get on the fucking ground and drop their guns. Wait, no, come on, role play the calling in the officer down. <sighs> Bronze Eagle. Use your call sign. Bronze Eagle. Uh, <laughs> nice name here. <laughs> nice name to uh, uh, Bronze Eagle. Nice name to Bronze Eagle. No, copy. Get an officer down. Co- copy. Nice name, Oliver. All right, EMTs are on the way. Right. All of a sudden, sirens start erupting. I can't put up on the two guys that are still up and scream for them to get on the fucking ground. Is that your turn? Yes. So, persuasion? Go ahead. I'll make a conversation. Okay. Persuasion. Okay. I'm going to assume I have absolutely no bonuses at this point. So, just roll it. <laughs> okay. Okay. They they put their hands up. They put the put the money on the ground. Oh, money, money. <laughs> put their guns on the ground. <laughs> okay. I handcuff them. Okay. I also handcuff them. Deacon, you're up. I assist with the handcuffing. You assist with the handcuffing. Yeah, the bleeding guy. Has every pair of handcuffs, can he? You, you um, assist maybe. with the handcuffing, yes? You save the person who is dead. <laughs> oh, that's right, he's died. I'm, we took a break, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since last time. <laughs> All right, it's been like hours for those of you that are oh. listening. Uh, there's still a guy that's down, so... <clears throat> you already called in that he's down? Mm-hmm. All right, great. All right, I'm back. All right, <clears throat> Sorry. Jonas! Jonas! I got you, buddy. Do you have a I heal? looked him in the eye. No, you die on me. Oh, off of Forkniff. Oh. That is a nice piece of phallic meat. <laughs> Can we get back to saving my life? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please, I'm happy you say it, but please go uh, for the games. One of the few times you actually get to hear that, someone say that. Can we get back to saving my life? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Are you ten? Yeah. He's a healer. He's a healer. I'm the fucking leader, alright? What did you think I was going to do? All right. I call resuscitation, by the way. R-E-S-U-S-I-C-A-T-O-N. All right. You caught me on that one. I don't okay. know. Death. <laughs> yeah, how you read it? I normally know how to spell everything, but resuscitation is a tough one. R e s u s s i. Resuscitation. No, it's R. No, no. I gotta find the rules on that one. Hold on. R e c u c i t a t e t I. Oh. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Recuggitation. <laughs> Recuggitation. Recuggitation. <laughs> Recuggitation. <laughs> we didn't do that one right. Oh. Recuggitation. Okay. Uh, Paul, that's that does. You, you need a raise. In order to resuscitate him from dying, 
and you're taking a negative three penalty because of his wounds. Oh, all right. Do you want to spend so, another penalty? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Then what do I do? Roll another D, whatever. Yeah, just make the same roll again. All right. Da 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 da. You're taking a minus three penalty, so that is not a success with the raise. Come on, man. That's a success. Do you have any more bennies to spend? I got one more. I <laughs> really didn't want to use it, but here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Jordan. Oh, come on. Come on. Motherfucker. I stab the wound and put the gun in his mouth and say, it's for your own good. And blow his brains all over the fucking deck. Then I put the gun into the air. I think you're dead. I'm just going to double check. Try. I feel so sad for Monster Face. <laughs> Marion. Yes, that Marion, your wife? Uh huh. <laughs> that bitch, you know. Yeah, I bet her, she was the one who tried to call me as well. I don't even know who tried to call me. Delete my browser history. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wife's name? His wife, his name is Marion, Paul. Mm hmm. I blow his brains out and they call <laughs> fuck the wound. That's my wife's name. <laughs> what? He's eaten more. <laughs> I didn't say you were married to her. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, you're dating my wife? <laughs> <laughs> I have the gun in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess this was in your interest after all. <laughs> no, no, I'm stuck with that. Uh, now I have people who want to go to why you say in finish shaming me. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a marriage. <laughs> You'll do good by her, I hope. Um, nah, I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. <laughs> She's cheating hot, man. How can I trust her ever? So, Bill <laughs> is dead. Yep. Yes. <laughs> the so guy who... Well, he was only two days from your retirement. Okay. I was literally going to make were. one of you guys two days from retirement, too. Um, I mean, I was going to play the veteran, so... He was the vet. What's in the, what's in the container? <laughs> I use my book cutters and chop open the container. What's in the box? Well, they were in it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> Marion said. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, what's it called? The first... Okay, so the container they were going to had weaponry. Oh, hey. <laughs> As I said, there were desert eagles. There were desert eagles. There was AK-47s. There were actual grenades in there. Um, one okay. of the containers is a refrigerated container carrying blood bags. Uh, okay. Blood bags? Blood bags. Blood bags? Blood bags. Blood, blood bags. Blood bags. Blood bags. Blood bags. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bags of That's blood. Right. Bags uh, of blood. Okay. Are the bags bad? made out of blood or filled with blood? Filled with blood. <laughs> Good. And another one of the containers. Um, there is a small girl in a cage. I don't do what I thought I was gonna do. I don't know what to do with this situation. Hang on. <laughs> there's a real there's a real problem up here. You guys haven't figured it out yet. It's all right. How yeah, old is the girl? Now. How old is the girl? Eight. Oh god. Oh. Oh boy. I start to take my pants off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Why is anyone laughing that I was gonna rape the little girl? Is that not funny? All right. No, that's so too old. Go over to the cage. Come on, we expect that from you. <laughs> <laughs> Go over to the cage. Like, can, can, can I pick the cage up? Like, is it a parrot cage or? No, it's 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 like a <laughs> big cage. There's a small bed in there. There's some stuff. So there's a girl alive in this cage. Yes, there's a girl living in this cage. I shine the light on her. Are you okay? 
she as 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 you sort of like approach and shine the light on her, she puts her ha- her hand in front of her, in front of her eyes. Don't don't shine it directly at her. I'm not shining it directly at her eyes. I'm shining it at you know around her, her. Okay. So I ask her again, are you okay? She doesn't answer. You need help. She doesn't answer. And then she starts speaking in a crazy moon language. Oh, come on! You didn't need me. <laughs> the language. You didn't have your time. Where's what? the linguist? Dead. Damn it. So, Front uh, eagle. Is he by any chance speaking Icelandic? No. Damn it. <laughs> That's a very specific. This is real deal, the Bronze Eagle. Real deal, the Bronze Eagle. Do you copy? Well, I'm going to assume that my character knows Icelandic, considering he grew up there. Bronze real deal, the Bronze Eagle. Bronze Eagle, copy. Bronze Eagle, we're going to need you to drop us in a linguist from. Crazy well, Is it safe to approach? Copy. It is safe to approach. I repeat, it is safe to approach. For those five guys, there could be dozens more. The LD is clear. LD okay, can I have paramedics on standby. I can send them in. Yeah, do that. Okay. I don't know what they're going to do at this point. The guy's brains are blown all over the place. He's fucking my Marion. I murdered you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm gonna have to testify against the. the uh, when this is over. Marion is <laughs> never gonna go back to me. She knows that you didn't manage to save me because she'll never trust you. <laughs> no, she definitely. Marion will definitely break up with him out of guilt. Uh huh. <laughs> you guys, I've lost two important people in my life today. So I mean, <laughs> it would be nice if you could give me a little. Okay. Um, well. All right. So after a few minutes, EMTs arrive on the scene. Uh, more cops arrive. So wait, like, is he really dead? Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Come on, revive him. Come on. That was my bro. <laughs> I'm fine with being dead. <laughs> I don't it works well in the story. All right, great. Now I've got now I've got a vendetta against this group. They took my buddy. No, I'm stuck with his wife. Uh, and so me. what happened? And afterwards, we go and search the ship. Okay, so outside of the three shipping containers, the rest of the shipping containers was like normal shipping containers. Oh. So those were the three special ones. Then the group, the group in cloud What about the ship itself? Uh, the ship itself had a manifest out of uh, Romania. There's what you call it. It was owned, and they were shipping on it. You're not sure if the owner knew about it. That's probably something for further investigation. But uh, do you need a investigation yeah. check in order to check on anything else we might find? Uh, that's pretty much it for the ship. Okay. And we have six guys in custody and one dead cop. This is gonna go. Right. And a little girl. And a little girl. Well, out of our jurisdiction, or rather, in the hands of paramedics. No, we're going to raise her as a, our own, train her in all our skills, and turn her into a killing machine that takes revenge on the Romanians. No, <laughs> no, God, no. My name is Leon. I'm the professional. Yes. Great. What's your name, little girl? Alright, well, I guess if the little girl is obviously here, I'm gonna, you know, get her out the cage, walk her to the uh, LZ, the EVAC. Okay. Get her into custody and whatnot. Okay, so she walks. she walks out of the container. She's sort of like looking down on the ground, not looking at any of you. Um, right before she gets up onto the onto the thing, I get down on a knee and I put my 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 finger under her chin, and make her like look at me, look me in the eyes. Uh, she is averting your gaze. 
Little girl, don't you worry. We're going to make sure we get the people that are after you. We're going to put them away. Get her into custody next to the bad people. Stand <laughs> <laughs> uh, over, over to the side, face palming and shaking my head. There you like, go. Uh, hey, don't you fuck with me today, all right, Jonas? You called him Jonas. God, I'm sorry, your brain's <laughs> blown all over the place. <laughs> For some reason, I get the. Uh, uh, the I get can't the, understand why I get them all confused. He uh, just needs to have a Jonas in his life. He can't really live without me. <laughs> but, uh, well, and, now, uh, and now Deacon becomes delusional and thinks everyone is Jonas. Jonas. On one hand, he protects the teammates really closely, like, it's going, Don't worry, Jonas, I won't let you die a second time, and then he, like, kills all the enemies. God damn it, Jonas, you slept with my girl! Slept with my girl, Jonas. I don't know how I can forgive myself for that. You slept with my girl? I don't know how I can forgive myself for that. Is that the quote you're gonna have yeah. for our relationship? Yeah. Oh, that's what I actually said. I said, you, I, wait, you slept with my girl. I'm you so confused. Deacon I said, said, you slept with my girl. How can I ever forgive myself for that? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was, she was your girl, but his wife. <laughs> How can I forgive myself for that? <laughs> Pretty self explained It's actually much deeper than we're like we're talking about it because your brains are scattered all over, like to the seven seas now, because some of them fell in the water. Why did, you, why did you exactly like put him out of his misery by shooting his brains all out? <laughs> he did wanted my life. I don't think he I actually did that. I did in, that. In I his defense, he was me. shot in the head already. <laughs> he yeah. didn't actually put him out of his misery, so. Yeah, no. His brains were already painting the deck. I just went uh, over and put... I did CPR, so like, on the wound. That's basically what I did. I put my hands over the wound and kept pressing brains out of his skull. I, I would love to, to get Joshua's report on this later. Like, what happened? I hit him in the head with a mallet. No, Joshua's report. That the Thank brain you. was like... Do I notice him murdering my friend? No, because you're on the other side of the ship. I also uh, didn't actually do that. Stop it. All right. So we go back to headquarters, and I go into the chief, right? Okay. Uh, like, you, like we're done here? Is there anything else going on here? Uh, you need to be, be debriefed with IA, and then you need a psych eval. Oh. Yeah, makes sense. No, it makes total sense. Internal Affairs might need to needs to know what just happened. All right. So I'm with Internal Affairs? No. You're, what should we call it? You, you, you first get debriefed, then you meet with internal affairs, and then you have to go for a psych evaluation. All right, so where am I right now? You're being debriefed. And okay, uh, so, you're all being debriefed, I assume. Uh, no, Jonathan, you're going to internal affairs alone. Oops, all right, fair enough. Okay. So what happened? Uh, Andrew? Uh, there was one who attempted to shoot the, t uh, shoot at our team. He was taken down. Um, I stayed with the su uh, suspect. Uh, rest came, uh, rest went in. And they were ready. They seemed to have everything under control. And then there was grenade screaming. Um, not sure. Uh, I just know that one of my friends just died. Okay. Uh, you realize we've been investigating Deacon for months. Well, okay. Out of, out of, out of, character, out of character here for a moment. I was not aware that I was sent here for him, but okay. I tried to turn over a leaf and you just pull me back in. You pull me back in. Well, he, he, I, the, only thing I can, the only thing I can say at this point in time is that he was closest to Jonas when he died. Okay. <laughs> I did not have okay. visual on the scene. What was, in your opinion, how well did he command the mission? 
Sorry, what? In your Sorry, opinion, what? how well did he command the mission? Did he what the mission? Command, command. the mission. Shit. One more time. Command. Command the mission. Type that shit, bro. Okay, what about command the mission? I don't understand what you're saying. Or what you're did he lead the mission? Did he lead no. the team during the mission? Mm, not, not particularly well. No. Okay. Oh, Thank oh you. that was his command. Okay, fair enough. Um, it went well and then quickly went to shambles after the first encounter. Uh, it seems after that. But something must have gone wrong, because we have trained for this, we should have been better prepared, and everyone should have known their roles. Um, again, I can't say 100% what was going on, but Deacon seemed distracted and unfocused. Okay. If you find anything else about this, please let us know. Um, I will investigate into Jonas' death and continue with the uh, continue to see what this was about. Okay, and now you're allowed to go debrief. Okay, oh, so standard okay. debriefing happens. They sort of just goes over what happened, ask you how many shots you fired, figure out, basically ask you all the typical questions to figure out: Did you guys jump the gun and start firing before you should have? Or was it everything justified? Zero shots fire. <laughs> I have the good one. One, actually. I think one shot was fired. Well, yeah, Rick had fired oh, one shot. By you guys, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So. In an attempt to save another guy's life, and he died yeah. like 10 seconds no, later. You're, you're in the clear. I will, I will watch for you any time of the day. <laughs> Deacon, on the other hand. Deacon's a loose cannon. What do you expect? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, no, I wasn't. I, I thought it was... I thought it was just a hard-nosed uh, SWAT agent, but apparently I'm the fucking bad guy again, somehow. Yeah. You're not the bad guy. You're just a loose no, cannon. I don't yeah. know what that means. the takes no shit, man. Yeah, man. I know what that means, but... Who cares like, about I mean, by the book? It, 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 all that matters is um, arrests. Actually, that's what I You're Mel Gibson from freaking Evil Exactly. <laughs> that one, I was you're trying to be. You get the hockey hairdo and everything. Uh -huh. You're a loose cannon, that boy. Mm. I even made that fucking joke. Yes. I see what well, you did. Well, someone explained it, you see what it did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, either way. Mm. Okay. So. Um, after a few hours, you're debriefed, you get to go home, uh, you guys are on, what, what's, what would be the term? You're on paid leave for a week, because you just had a person die. Oh, okay. So, I'm guessing you go home. Is anyone... Uh, I would suggest that we meet up at some point and take a drink together, because we all knew Jonas. Who's telling his wife? Oh, wait, no, he was not married. <laughs> get an idea. Thank Jonas God. was married. Jonas was not married. Oh my God, who tells his wife? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the guy who's fucking us. I have a feeling. I'm gonna go. Fair enough. I'm gonna go. If no one else, if no one else tells me otherwise, I'm gonna go. Okay, so Deacon, Jonathan is. Saying he'll go talk to Marion. I don't think I was said I. Alright. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, okay. Jonathan, if you could, when you go, tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. I did everything I could. You should go well, tell her. Tell her we're all sorry. No, 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 you offered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no right. takes his taxes. No takes his taxes. Hi. Best SWAT leader ever. <laughs> A good leader knows what's delicate. Yep. Damn straight. 
All right. So I walk out to the parking lot, put my hand on the top of my Ford Mondeo with the sunroof, look up to the sky. Damn it all. I play violin in the background. Ooh, isn't that baby purr? And I drive it six cylinder. And you drove everyone else in. Yeah. <laughs> everyone else in. <won. laughs> so Deacon gets home. <laughs> yeah, all the ones I'm just for. Everyone else well, is home. Well, I actually oh, missed my bike. Uh, okay, I, oh, well. I was going to say I leave my bike here uh, just in case this happens because he does this so often. So, but I had the chance to bike over here, and I just leave the yeah, bike. Always, he's always, he's always broody on the way home, <laughs> for some reason, reason or other. Yeah, yeah every mission we like lost one guy. It's normally on the phone. So. I go home and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna go and go. Okay. So, Deacon. Yo. All right, so you fall asleep. So, as you dream, once again, you see that little girl. Little girl? What are you doing here? And as she looks in, into your eyes, her eyes are pitch black. Don't oh, mind. Fuck's sake, you don't turn into Shepard, you douchebag. <laughs> Are you saying yours are also pitch black because you're wearing sunglasses, sunglasses at night in your dream? <laughs> in your dream? My dream. Yeah. My dream self always wears shades. Little girl. Uh, she, start, she, she takes your hand and she starts to walk with you. All right, where are we going? Uh, you, you find yourself standing in the middle of a vast desert. This looks... Deserted. And then the little girl starts to like draw on the ground, <laughs> and then then she raises her hands, and this like whole castle is just created in Whoa. the sand. Do I know kung fu? No, you do not know kung fu. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say show me. <laughs> All right. Right. You should have said, I know Kung Fu as a statement. <laughs> well, alright. So, anyway, here's the sandcastle. Mm -hmm. uh, and she points to you and points to the castle. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> I waltz in that bitch like I own it. Okay, and then you wake up. Oh, oh, the Jonas! Oh, my castle! Oh. oh my god, Jonas. Why was he leading me to a castle? Oh. Jonathan! Or was it a little yes. girl? Alright, so you have a long talk with Marion. And then you 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 leave and you pick up your taxi to take you home. Yes, and then I fall asleep right there. Okay. Joshua! Yes. Okay. What are you doing? I'm biking home, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so you ride your bike home. Yeah. You're now home. Uh, I guess I I take a drink. The, there's I, messages I from um uh Jonas's WoW Guild wondering where he is. Uh I wonder for a second how the hell they got my uh, got my eye out. No, no, no. It's wonder. worse than that. They got your cell phone number. Oh dear. <laughs> and don't forget, he's a world <laughs> first guild. So missing missing raid night, and he's a tank. <laughs> so missing raid night is very big deal. Could be the. Uh, could be the guild. He could be the guild. He he's not the healer, and he's the off tank. So it's not like he's the main tank. He was never that good. But, you know, still. Always the other business to do. Huh? Okay, I, uh, I asked They, they them kept telling the him he could go him. pro, but he just never puts enough time into it. Which is why he was two days from retirement. <laughs> I, I, I asked him why, how the hell they got my goddamn number. 
<laughs> you're, you're his emergency contact. We need to know where he is. Oh, uh, in that case, I guess I have some news for you. He's, uh, he's dead. <laughs> my wife? Really? Yeah, we, we had some altercations on the workplace. And they just all get silent, like, oh. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Yeah. He was a uh, good guy. I always told him he should have insisted on taking command of the, of the team. Okay. Um, well, well ha uh, have a good night. Um, yeah, I guess bye. Thank you. Bye. I delete the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I call it. I call in for exchange of number. <laughs> okay, so that that takes you a couple of hours. I send a new number to to Deacon and uh, I guess Jonathan. Thanks. I guess to <laughs> okay, so so I go to sleep. Okay. So w when you go to sleep, you see the little girl. Okay. Hi. She sort of waves hi to you. And then she walks forward and she puts her hand on your chest. I take a step back. Slowly. She keeps walking forward to put a hand on your chest. Um, what do you want? She starts speaking a language you don't understand. <sighs> do you know in other languages? You don't understand English? So that's a so big you, fucking no, buddy. So you understand English? Can you speak English? Do you know sign language? language? Do you speak it? Okay. Do you speak any other languages? Okay, so what language are you speaking? And she starts speaking. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> oh, uh, do you know how to write? Uh, write? She starts, she starts drawing on the ground in the sand, but you don't recognize oh. the characters. <sighs> I guess that appointed uh, that is appointed that is statement to Jurgen, huh? Okay, um hmm? we need a sniper. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, so, sorry. Um Someone with I'm notes is what he does. Yeah, none of my skills are very helpful here. Well, technically could I, in any kind of way, try to uh, try to decipher the uh, the symbols or anything like that? No, but you could probably do a Google search and see if you recognize the letters. Well, I guess I need to remember them when I wake up at that point. That is true. What? You don't have Google in your dream? Not really. <laughs> Which will be kind of convenient. What does my dream mean when I am uh, properly go uh, googling what my what my dream means? Uh, Marion is a dream um, dream psychic, so you could just bring the <laughs> dream to her. No. Okay. Um, I guess she's I a medium. Remember, uh, she's actually yeah, her yeah, husband yeah. right now. Oh, it's perfect for the fucking for being a SWAT uh, team guy. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, uh, I no wonder to he knew us. everything. I guess I tried to memorize the symbols, and I like write up them on a sheet of paper in my dream stuff. Okay, Deacon. Well, you uh, wake up oh, to wait, bang. Wait. You wake up to banging at the front door. <laughs> Coming. Hang on. 
Where are my glasses? On my way. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I open the door. Okay. Um, as soon as as soon as you start to open the door, um, there's a big kick to the door to all of a sudden push it open, and you hear very loud shouting. And I'm gonna roll initiative. The earth has come to take you down. You son of a bitch, it is. <laughs> okay, where is the deacon? Deacon McCoy. There you go. Uh, Paul, tell me if you need another card. Deacon, Deacon McCoy. Deacon, Deacon McCoy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Looks like you do. Diamonds and clubs. Diamonds before clubs, because diamonds begins with a D. Okay, so, um... Clubs begin with a C. Yeah, C and it's reverse and alphabetical order. Oh, horse rape. That's fucking stupid. That's the way... That's, that spades are the are the highest... Yeah, ace, is, ace is the best, because of this. Oh, nah. really? Okay. Nah. Okay. That's the entire reason for it, I think. No. Nah, maybe not. Okay. But it's ace one. Okay, so um, oh. it it appears that there are two guys in suits. One of them pulls out a taser, and the other one pulls out a pistol, and they start to come at you. So roll for their attack roll. Does a two hit your parry? Nope. Try again, bitches. All right. So the one with the pistol says. Stay down, or and I won't shoot you. Wait, and now and it's just... your initiative. Alright, so I went to go open the door. I wasn't presented with a warrant, correct? No. Okay. The door was kicked open. I'll tell you what, it's I... not a taser. Think of it more as a cattle prod. Okay, so these guys are on the up and up. Alright, so... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, these guys are totally on the up and up. So uh, I grab the cattle prod, because, you know, it's long, right? So I grab it in the midpoint, whip it up away from the guy, and then turn around and smack him in the face, the other guy in the, uh, in the arm, with the, the guy with the gun. Okay. I'm a martial so, artist, bitch. Go ahead, make a fighting roll. Oh, I guess you do know Kung Fu. I do. <laughs> Okay, uh... Benny that bitch. <laughs> you kept the last Benny? What's that? You kept the last Benny? No, I'm saying give me a Benny for the head because I need a fucking Benny. <laughs> I'll give you a Benny since you slept with his wife. Yes. Wasn't that story related? <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. story related, but it's also story related that now he's going to be under bad investigation for internal affairs if they find yeah. out that he's sleeping with your wife. Yeah, and now enough. you all of a sudden you wind up dead. Ooh. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Weird coincidence. All right. So anyway, what happens? Yeah, I said I'd give you a Benny. So are you gonna reroll it? it well, isn't that a success? Not with no. Okay. Well, then fuck you. Is How about that is a success. That is a success. Okay. So you that? grab the cattle prod out of his hands, and then you, then you're gonna do what? So I grab the cattle prop from. So I've disarmed this guy. So he's disoriented. Yes. As I turn around, like after we've got it, now I'm going back and I'm hitting the other guy who's right next to him with in the arm, the arm that he's holding the gun at, at me. So I hit that out of the way. So it's going up into the air. And if the cattle, I don't know how a cattle prod works at this point, but if it makes his muscles all tense, bang, he's going to shoot up into the into the. Uh, he's going to shoot. Okay, it's not going to shoot. All right. All right. Cool. So. You stun his arm, he screams, uh -huh. and he drops his gun. And now I'll give you That's a new what initiative. I wanted. Now it's on, bitch. Now we're on even playing fields. Ooh. <laughs> well. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so you still have the cattle prod. They're right. both they're both unarmed. All right, so the guy on the right who had the cattle prod is going to step step forward and deck you, 
the guy on the left is going to go down, go to pick up his gun. That is the scene currently. Okay. He's going to attempt to punch me, and that's not going to work. All right, okay. great. I got, I got an idea yeah. as to what I'm going to do. Nine. Does a nine hit your parry? Yeah, just. Okay, so. Okay, so. It doesn't do anything. I take a look at him. That's all you got? Well, in fighting, my god. Yeah, dude, what do you think I am? A joke? Okay. <laughs> I'm Deacon fucking McCoy. I'm the real deal, motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to look at his character sheet after this. I guarantee you he does not have an agility of 12. What, Damn one straight line. I do, bro. You, you put all your points in agility? But, well, how many points were we allowed? Five. 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 One, two, oh, wait. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know how Paul makes characters. Two, three, four, five. He has maxed out everything. Well, no, 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 I didn't max out everything. <laughs> uh, yes, but he had five stats. Agility I definitely maxed out. I, I thought we had 15 points total. No, no that's... I, skills. I have skills. <laughs> yeah, points for attributes? Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Man, that's, that, that's a pretty good character you have there. Yeah, okay, very we can fix this later. <laughs> He's gonna drink away some of those points in regret afterwards yeah, if he survives. Have to. This was this was the this is the uh, movie scene. Afterwards, he's after this. I have a feeling he's going to. Uh, That's okay. I think this, I think this picture is starring Deacon McCoy, so it's okay for you to have a little extra. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, what can no, I say? That's fine. I'm Deacon McCoy. I totally didn't care about this character, too. That's how Sam makes characters, and apparently it works really well. <sighs> Alright, so anyway, uh, so this guy, I'm going to throw him into the other guy who's trying to pick up his gun before he can pick up his gun. Okay. Alright. So, bam. Okay, so that is a nine that will hit his... That will hit his parry. Um, sure, okay. So, you, you, you throw the one guy and the other guy, and they both fall out of the, the stairs of the house. Yeah. Sure, I'll, I'll say that. So now they're on, they're in front, they're on their front lawn. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, come on. The only thing that beats this. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You son of a bitch. Oh, no, oh dear. Alright, so one of them goes. I guess we'll do it the hard way. He, the guy who had the, the cattle prod pulls out his gun. Okay. Alright, so that's 1d6 in shooting plus 2. A 5 hits your parry. No, it don't. I'm sorry. Um, a f five eight beats a four, which is what I have to do once to shoot. Sorry, not parry. Oh, okay. Yeah, only fighting goes versus parry. Right there we go. Okay, that's fourteen damage. God damn. The, are you still wearing the Kevlar vest? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Not still You're not wearing his Kevlar vest. No. You lost that at the briefing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, I guess I uh, totally take that one. So you have five toughness or whatever. What's your toughness? Uh, five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So reduce it by that and then figure Shaken out. Shaken with two wounds, Paul. Damn. He doesn't have a Jason stick stuff. to myself and shock myself with the cattle prime and get supercharged. Isn't they only at nine? Oh, yeah, gun. The gun is... What's that? The gun was armor pacing or something. No, that wouldn't He's not right wearing armor. He's, he no. was just sleeping. He doesn't, That's what I'm, I'm saying. He, I'm he, sorry, he movable wall. He doesn't sleep in Kevlar. Yeah. I'm missing. He has. Yeah, you did 14 damage. Minus five would make it a nine. That would only make it one wound, right? Yeah, That's two wounds. It's, a, it's it a wound every four. Of course, you you sleep in Kevlar. Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, every sorry. four. That would be two, eight, four and eight. Five. He's shaking. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Nine. Shake. He has five two shaking. wounds. Hmm? Thirteen. Yeah, one wound. He has two wounds. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. All right, so, Paul? Yeah? You're up. All right. <laughs> I come at the guy with the, uh, let's see, how can I do this? Can I do a roundhouse kick to both their faces? They're lying on the grass. They're, 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 they're down. Oh, okay, so he's down like this, like... Yes, he's, he's shooting up the stairwell, and he uh, fires a shot at he's you. Doing point, he's point-break styling, beating my ass. Okay, I got you. All right, I'll uh, ride the banister down the stairwell and come flying out and kick him in the face. All right, go ahead, make, it, make an attack roll. If you do damage, I'll give you an deduction of D6 for that. <laughs> Here's the penny. <laughs> there we go. How did you re-roll that? Because I used a penny. Remember you said I got a penny for the... And you used that before. Oh, I did? Did I? Didn't he? No, I don't think yeah. I did. You had a four. You rolled a four, and you re-rolled it to get an 11. Immediately. You're right. You're right. All right, so never mind that second one, then. All right. My bad. I forgot okay. already. We're getting tired, I think, all of us. A bit. Yeah. That's fine. We won't be going for that much longer. Deacon's going down. <laughs> Okay, so, um, all right, so, two more cards. Oh, wait, I gotta recall, because that was a joker. Mm. Come on, you bitch. Give it to me. You give yourself another joker, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, so, give me another card. <laughs> Go fuck yourself with that card. Give me another one. Oh, I gotta give you another one. Mm. Just put it right, underneath right. your cards. Don't, don't put it in somewhere else. Oh, you don't want it there? Okay. Yeah, just... There we go. Now we're talking. You still get to go before me, but... Okay, so not. he's in... Now Now you're in base-to-base -base combat with this guy who has a gun, which means right. instead of hitting a four, he's hitting your parry. Right. That's better. So he's going to go shoot you again. Does a five Ooh. hit your parry? No, it don't. All right, so he, he goes to swing his gun at you, and you kick, it, you kick his hand away. Okay. <laughs> so the other one backs up two steps, and then he puts on brass knuckles. Oh, you want to play that game? I reach into my pockets and pull out my sleeping brass knuckles. Okay, you thinking you're up. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Mortal <laughs> Kombat! Oh, you're up. What's that? You're up. Yeah, I just rolled, bro. Okay, that's a fighting. Uh, yeah. You're Are you attacking the guy on the ground? Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot. I got you. Uh, which one has the, the gun? The guy on the ground has a gun. The guy right, standing guy. up has brass knuckles. Yeah, actually, can I stand on the gun guy's neck while I punch the other guy out? That might be a little bit sure. you think. All right, cool. Do you really want to be close enough for him to essentially just poke his gu a gun into the back of your knee and pull the trigger? No, he ain't going to be happy. Or right, wait, can I step on who his wrist? Can you kick his gun away? Can I happens. kick his gun away? Okay, well, if, you want to use that, if you want to use that as a disarm for this guy's gun, I'll let you use that as a disarm for this guy's gun. Alright, cool. Roll damage. Alright, sweet. Shit, where the hell's the... Uh... Damage here. I don't know what damage you have on unarmed. Well, you're, you're, uh, the, you're the martial artist guy, apparently. Yeah. Told him I was the fighter, okay? I'm the fighter. You're the loose right. cannon. Loose cannon, guys. Where's your broadsword and your leather armor? Yeah. Shane may let it go, I guess. Do, do. Brass knuckles, strength before. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's gonna be funner and fun, bruh. Paul? Yeah, I got it. You Hang on. Kicked the gun away. You didn't attack him with brass knuckles. And I'm not saying you have sleeping brass knuckles. Aww. But you said I did. Alright, fine. No, then... you did. Fine, fine. There you go. Five. Okay. You kick his gun away. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the guy standing up will take a swing at you. Yay! And he'll wildly miss. 
<laughs> Can I use his miss to, his, to my advantage and toss him down onto the ground with his miss? No, you're, I'm already letting you do too much. All right, cool. No, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a little movie. in the uh, apartment beneath you. I shouldn't do. Come on. <laughs> okay, now this is getting ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All right. Your turn. <clears throat> Actually, All right, the, you could let me go first. The guy, the guy on the ground goes to hit you in the crotch. Does a five your hit your parry? Nope. I am wearing a cup. <laughs> it's plus two. It's a seven. All right. So Sleep seven hit your parry. Nope. Okay. Does a four hit your parry? No. You're up. Yes. The two of them attack wildly. All right. Brass knuckle time. Uh, yeah, apparently he doesn't wear Kevlar to vest to bed. He yeah. doesn't bring breast knuckles to bed, but he does wear a cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, man? Don't don't harsh on my mellow. <laughs> All right, I wildly punch them right in the face. Okay, so uh, are you aiming for the guy standing or the guy on the ground? Um, at this point, it's uh, we're gonna go for the guy that's standing. Okay, you hit. So go ahead. All right, cool. That is... <laughs> He's sh- he drops. I take his brass knuckles. Who ain't got brass knuckles now, bitch? <laughs> you All right, so, so you're going to stop the battle, un- take off his brass knuckles, and put your back to the guy on the ground. Oh, I hit him so hard, he goes back like this, and the brass knuckles just slide off his hands and onto mine. And I turn around, <laughs> I'm to die. That's not how that's, physics works. That's how physics works in movies, and this is a movie, uh, okay? No. The name of the movie is SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Paul, make it awesome. Make it awesome, dude. Make this the coolest fucking RPG we've ever, I've okay. ever played. The brass At knuckles don't go off of his fingers, but his shoes come off. <laughs> hey, that's even better. <laughs> Fuck it. I knocked the dude out of his shoes. I'll keep, I'll let him keep the brass knuckles. So I'm going to okay. fuck this dude up barehanded. Okay. Actually, he's down, right? Can I? Can we say that I just, uh, I can talk him and, like, like who sent you? You know, that kind of a deal? Well, let's see what happens on this round of combat. Uh, give Adam Savage I have a feeling you're going first. Oh, wait, no, bullshit. You gotta reshuffle the deck, motherfucker. Oh, you're right. You're completely Yeah, right. you, got a, you got a joker. Uh, guys, I remember the rules. <laughs> I'm on point today. You hear Adam Savage go, go God damn it, now we gotta do that th- episode. Yeah, oh, we're playing a game. Alright, Paul. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna try and start by uh, um, knocking this guy and like, uh, who's that you? He starts speaking a crazy moon language. Um, I'm just gonna punch him right in the face for that. <laughs> Alright, he's out. You? All right, good times. I uh, search the bodies and try and find some information on them. Okay, uh, you find a passport. Whoa. You find two other passports with two other names. Okay. Hey, I can use those. His wallet has fifteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred euros in cash. I get that. Because we're in Europe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. We need to remind everyone of that every two minutes. <laughs> Europe. Right, European well, SWAT. There are, also, there are also more gun laws in Europe, so guns, not the most normal thing. Yeah, but these are bad guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, we're SWAT, bro. We uh, literally they're bad, they're bad German SWAT. guys. Oh, yes, the Germans. Just because the, the gun laws are more strict doesn't mean that it's uh, that much harder to get guns, said if, uh, uh, if you know where to look. In <laughs> America's selling our guns to somebody, and guess what? Yeah. Norway. Oh, you there? Okay. Um, five minutes, this is going to be the end of the episode, and I forgot this was the end of the episode anyway. So, we'll be right back. What did I discover?